Hey guys, it's B Fly Renee. Thank you so much for watching, as always. And I am still playing catch up, and I really needed to get these filmed. So, yeah, please bear with me, and I'm sorry I'm not in this video, but you guys seem to like this kind of style just the same. So, yeah, this is my Pop Sugar Must Have box, and this is $40 a month, and it is a monthly subscription service. And if you want more information or if you're interested in subscribing, please use my link down below. I would greatly appreciate it. And this is my box for April. So let's go ahead and check out what is all in this great April box. As always, what I love about Pop Sugar is they include a pamphlet with more information about each product and their suggested retail, which is awesome. I think that this themes box is perfect. They really nailed it with this one. And here is all of the products that is featured in this April Pop Sugar box. I was so incredibly surprised when I opened this box because all I could smell was this delicious candle. And this is from Produce Candles and this is the Rhubarb Spring Candle. And it says, bring the farm stand home to you with this sweet smelling rhubarb candle. Crafted in Charleston, South Carolina with natural soy wax, this candle crop will fill a room, literally, with the scent of fresh rhubarb on a crisp spring day. The suggested retail is $20. I love the top. You can keep that on there until you burn it and then when you're, while you're not burning it. Seriously adorable. I'm going to reuse the jar afterwards. I love soy candles and I'm really glad that I love the smell of this. Next product is from One Love Organics and this is the Gardenia Plus T Antioxidant Body Serum. And it just says, we're attracted to this little luxurious serum that takes moisture to the next level. Infused with antioxidants and other superstar ingredients, it has a subtle fragrance of gardenia and others that offers nourishing effects for softer skin all over. The suggested retail is $39. I love this One Love Organic brand. I use actually a lot of organic skincare items and I kind of made the switch about a year ago. And this is going to be really awesome. I love the way it smells. It does smell a little earthy, so if you're not into that, you may not like this. But yeah, this full-size value is $39. So what's the cost of the box? $40. So pretty much you're getting everything else for free, which is awesome. This next item, I have no idea how to show this to you, so I'm just going to show it to you like this. I know it doesn't look very pretty. But this is from Flip and Tumble. This is the 24-7 bag. And it just says, from bag to ball, This it actually uh, rolls into a ball. This 24-7 reusable bag compacts in a pinch. No folding or zipping necessary. Made of a reliable ripstop nylon. It's perfect for the market and carries all your essentials with ease. The suggested retail is $12. And I actually live in Oregon. So if you guys are unfamiliar... Plastic bags are actually banned in Portland. I don't live in the city of Portland, but um, so I still can use them sometimes. But when I go to Portland, I kind of forget. So I have tons of these reusable bags. They come in really handy. I highly recommend them. They're super easy to just throw in your grocery cart. And they're so much better for the environment. So yeah, I'm excited to add another to my growing collection of reusable bags. This next product is from Dabney Lee, and this is the Dotty Umbrella. This is seriously adorable. I obviously can't show it. I can't open it to show it to you guys. Um, but it has a little emblem right here, and then it has a button, and it seriously is the most cutest umbrella I've ever seen. And this is just says, with an umbrella as adorable as this, so true, we're welcoming spring showers, which is still raining a lot here in Oregon in the spring, with open arms. Plus, the auto open and close feature and quick drying fabric are sure to make any outdoor adventure enjoyable, rain or shine. The suggested retail is $20, and I just think it's adorable. I absolutely love it, and I, you're going to think this is crazy, but in Oregon, uh, we normally don't use umbrellas, even though it rains like... 75% of the year, but um, we always know can spot a tourist when we see one because they're using an umbrella in the rain. So I actually don't even think I own one. So this will be new to me and I will definitely rock it because it is seriously adorable. This next item is from Potting Shed Creations and this is the Garden in a Bag Basil. 
This is homegrown fresh spices. It just got easier with garden in a bag basil. No chopping or mincing required. Uh, yeah, it will be after you uh, harvest it. Uh, enjoy the miniature leaves straight off the plant for flavorful dishes year round. The suggested retail is $10. I think this is a great concept and I always use basil with cooking, especially my spaghetti sauce. And I think it's really cute. I'm interested to see what other ones they have. I love that it's organic and super convenient. So yeah, I will definitely be planting this and checking it out. Sometimes pop sugar includes special extras and this is from Mop 50 and it's a $25 gift card. And apparently it's like a UV sun protective um, clothing line fashion. So I definitely will check this out. I don't know how much 25 is gonna get me, but I think it's great that they included it for an extra. They also included some other promotional um, discount cards, which they don't normally always do. So that was a great addition. All right, guys, so my Pop Sugar April box is now empty. I know that this value was amazing this month. I'm really excited about all the products that are in here, and I'm really excited about that cute umbrella. So, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed my unboxing of Pop Sugar April. And thank you so much for watching, as always. If you're interested in subscribing to Pop Sugar, please use my link down below. And I'll see you guys next time. Thanks. Bye.